Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in the Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how you can connect to the underlying connection for Power BI Desktop for use in other tools and whatnot. So let's dig in. All right, I'm looking at a Power BI report that's in Power BI Desktop on my machine, and I want to go ahead and look at how do I optimize my data model inside of Power BI. And so there are a lot of tools that are out there that you can go use. Some of my favorites are DAX Studio, Vertipack Analyzer, Tabular Editor. There's other tools from folks uh, like Reserad over at radicad.com. So they got Power BI Helper. And there's other things that you can find as well. But in order to use those tools, I need to connect to the underlying data model that's hosted in Power BI Desktop. So the easiest way that I do this is I go to DAX Studio. And when I'm in DAX Studio, I can select Power BI SSDT model, select the drop down, and there's my Power BI Desktop file. I hit connect. And what you'll see at the bottom here is this local host and the port number of 51153. This is the effective server name of my data model. So you have to have Power BI Desktop open in order to see this, but this is the server name and port that I can use in tools to connect. So for example, let's jump over to SQL Server Management Studio. I've got analysis services selected. I've got my local host and the port number that I had in DAX Studio. We're gonna hit connect and bam. Now I am in that server. I can see the dropdown. There's my model and there are my tables. Look at all those. So one of the big things I do in model troubleshooting is I use a tool called Vertipack Analyzer. Vertipack Analyzer is a tool from SQLBI.com where it'll go through and look at your tables and whatnot. And so if I go in order to set this up, let me go to the data tab and we will go to manage data model. I'll maximize this. We'll go to existing connections and we will go ahead and hit edit and here hit build. And then we can specify that port information. So it was 51153, all right? And then make sure that you choose the dropdown for, get the right GUID for your data set and then hit okay, save, close, and then come up here to refresh and say refresh all. And it's gonna go through and pull all that information out of your data model and have it available in the Power Pivot data model that's inside of Excel. And then we can hit close, get out of this. And when we go back to Power BI, or when we go back to Excel, we will see all of our information in here. That Vertipack Analyzer will now let me go through and troubleshoot my model or optimize my data model. All right, that's just a real quick way of how you can get that connection to use in tools that can help you optimize your Power BI data set that can then further improve performance inside of Power BI itself for your reports and for your refreshes. And we'll have more videos on Guy in a Cube that go into all of that. All right, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite tool is to use with Power BI and Power BI Desktop. Love to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.